Howdy folks, Kevin here. Just wanted to start by letting y'all know you might hear some piano or some baby crying in the background or some conversation in the background. Um, I don't have a professional studio to record this stuff, so I got to do it in my home. And I've got a wonderful family in my home that also makes a lot of noise. So uh, apologize for any background noises that you hear. If you hear a baby crying, uh, that's my one month old, um, just expressing how she feels. So um, let's get to it. So in today's video, I wanted to cover how to host Allure reports online. Now let's go over to the Allure report page under reporters, just uh, in case you're not familiar with Allure. Um, it's a test report framework, and it allows you to get a little bit of a, a, a better UI for seeing test runs and everything. So we'll take a look at this in a little bit. But um, to get started, what I'm going to do is I've got a uh, basic test here. It just loads the WebDriver IO API page, gets the title, and uh, prints it out. It's a really simple test, and I'm just going to use it um, to show off how to set up or run, yeah, set up and run a Lure report, and then also um, host it. So the first thing you need to do is in your terminal. Um, in your command line, you are going to run the installer for Lure Report. So we'll install this locally. And then we need to go into our configuration file and search for reporters and add the Allure reporter in there. We'll save that file. And we can go to our command line and run npx wdio. And this will run our WebDriver IO tests. You see, we had our report come out with our message. And then if we go and search for, just do a ls dot, see there's this new Allure results directory. Um, inside of that directory is a bunch of uh, JSON and XML files that have the results of our test. Those JSON and XML files aren't all that helpful for us. We need to actually generate the Allure report. To do that, um, we'll go down to the bottom here. We need to install the Allure command line tool first and then run these commands. So we can install the Allure command line tool globally, but I prefer to install these things on a project by project basis. So I'm going to install it without the G flag so that it only installs in this project directory. This way, if I'm working with the team, they can also have the dependencies all in their package JSON. Now we've got this installed. Um, normally globally, we'd be able to use it just typing Allure, but because this is installed locally, we have to use that npx command. We're going to do Allure, and then we're just going to do Generate. And this is going to generate a new folder that's uh, going to host all the HTML files. So if I do another ls, we will see there's now an Allure report folder. And then ls Allure report, you can see it has an HTML file, some CSS, and a whole bunch of other stuff in here. That is basically our report. I can take a look at this report locally by running npx allure open. And this is how the report looks. I can go to categories. Now there aren't any categories because I haven't defined any, but I can come into here and see just some details about my tests, some graphs of passing, failing, all the stuff that you get in an allure report. So this is cool for running locally, but what happens when I want to share this URL with a coworker or a project manager or anything, because this is all running locally on my machine, they can't access this. Um, so in order to do that, one thing we could do, so I'm gonna go ahead and kill this server right now. We could actually zip up this Allure report and then send it over, but it actually doesn't work. If I just do open Allure report index, you see it loads the page, but it actually just stays at loading. And this is because it tries to reference some of the data. And if I go into my network request and reload the page, let's see, if I go into my console, you can see I've got a whole bunch of errors based on cross origin requests. So instead, what we're gonna wanna do is host this site on a um, basic CDN server. CDN server is short for Content Delivery Network. It's basically a way of sharing static files to uh, a large web. 
The tool I use for that is called uh, Netlify. And let's see if I just go to the home page. This is what the home page looks like. Um, I already have an account, so I've logged into my account and I already have some um, website set up already for this. I really like this service. It's really useful. But I'm going to go into my test folder and then under Allure Report, I'm going to drag and drop that. And now Netlify is going to be smart enough to deploy this site for me. So now if I go to here, I have that same report on a public server, all the great information on it. And to share it, I'll just copy that and send it to whoever. You'll uh, have it in the description of this video so you can check it out too. Now to update this, say you make a change and you want to update it, you go to your deploys. And then here's that same folder. You can once again drag and drop that down and it will redeploy with your latest and you'll update it. And you're not going to see any updates here because I didn't make any updates. But um, that's the basics of serving Allure on a public website. Um, alternatives to this, uh, if you have like an FTP server, one of those old things you can uh, basically anywhere you can host this folder it will work and you just point to this HTML file all the things like that so uh, if you're interested uh, I did use that mpx command that's a new part of my videos it's super handy for running local uh, installs of packages um, so I'll have a link to this as well and my link to my lure report and everything if you have any questions, uh, please fee feel free to leave a comment on the video. And if you have any ideas for future videos, I'd love to hear those. Thanks.